Afternoon guys, thought I'd do a little bit of an update, haven't done one for a while, um, house stuff is starting to come together, windows turned up this week, um, so those start to get installed next week, that's my dinner's ready, um, then uh, obviously following on for that will be the kitchen, um, so <laughs> a lot of money going out and a lot of work getting done, but it's, it's starting to head there, it's starting to look more like a home rather than a construction site, so all positive stuff. Um, with the <laughs> not forced compulsory vaccine stuff, um, it, it just for me it's just a bit comical because you are sort of getting pushed down. At, no, no, it's not forced, but we're talking about vaccine passports. We're talking about businesses and how you can access a business if you've been vaccinated. We are talking about. There could be impacts on flying to Spain and all that. But don't have to have the vaccine. Um, for me, it's just the politics around it. Now, personally, I don't think I need a vaccine. Um, and it's like, now there's some cases rising in Spain that blame the young people because they're not vaccinated. Um, even though they actually say the vaccine, guess what? It's not going to stop you spreading or getting COVID. So it may not be the young people. It's more to do with selling the vaccine. Um, so today I've had my vaccine. I believe it's the AstraZeneca one. Um, left arm's a bit numb, but beyond that, it's fine. Um, at the minute, probably have sweats and stuff later. But who? It's and like I said, it's not that I wanted it. It's not that I personally need it for the right reasons. I'm just preparing so it doesn't block me traveling backwards and forwards to Spain. If they do open up to get rid of the PCR tests, Boris and his mates are making money off those. They're not going for another year. Um, then it, we don't have to have the PCR tests. That'll save me probably about three hundred euros. <laughs> Extortion. So I get one at 99 quid in boots. Then I have to, the one in Spain is 110 euros. And then I then have the five in eight day tests, which are another 100 quid basically. Extortion is what I call it. Um, but got to go home at some point. Um, so I'm hoping having these vaccinations will sort of nip that in the bud. Um, because a lot of them go, cases are going up, cases are going up. Hospitals aren't overflowing, the death rates are dropping, all that stuff. But the cases are going up, of course they're going up, people are going out. Um, it's how you strive towards herd immunity, which is what Boris was originally talking about, and it's realistically where we're going. We've sort of immunised um, as much as we can the um, high risk elements of the society. Um, and it's driving it down under 30s under talking about children all this sort of stuff and I'm sitting there going but they're still not 100% you know in the sense of they're still not sure whether well, you have to have three jabs you've got to have this you've got to have that I think it's just going to be like flu you'll just end up having it annually if you need it in the sense if you're a high risk group and then everybody else just ignores it and whether it um, I think that's more likely, um, but at the moment, well, there's money to be made. Um, as the sun is shining, uh, make hay, as they say. And I think that's exactly what's going on for um, certain parties, in my personal opinion. Um, that won't really come to light, because I know we have the tabloid versions and the, the odd bit of Boris getting his Barbados holidays and uh, wallpaper and all those sort of things within the rules um, but there's no discussion about corruption and within the law, which is the bit that we should be looking at. Don't care about party rules. I'm more concerned about any actual laws being broken and favours given for cash. But anyway, we'll see where that goes. I'm a, like I said, politicians, all the same. Don't matter what colour they are, red, blue or green, doesn't matter. They, they all have their own objectives and often profiteer. Even if they start off in all honesty and being a good person, over time they simply become corrupted by politics. Because how you move up and across, it's um, 
You can be the most moral person on the planet, but you need your friends to move you across and up and into new positions and becoming prime minister, which you can't do as an individual. So it's, it's a poison chalice that politicians are politicians. End of that. But yeah, my arm's actually going numb from holding the phone because it's after about five minutes after the injection, it's been like numb. So I said to the missus, I need to get home quick in case it gets any worse because at the moment I can drive. But give it an hour, I might be sat here um, with a, an arm that's sort of hanging down. <laughs> Uh, it's not that bad, it, but it it's, it does feel a bit tingly, so we'll wait and see. Um, but yeah, house is progressing, work's extremely busy. Um, I'm just waiting for a fan to come up, so I might do a video on that later. I got one of the new Dyson ones, um, which April said way too expensive, but it was actually at Arif's um, last weekend, and I think they're really good, so... Although it's, I think it's 500 quid or something. It's around that sort of, I think it's 499 or something. Um, I'm going to try it. Because um, I do live in a shared house and there's a couple of smokers in here. So I think it will help with purifying the air. Um, so I'm going to give that a go, see how it works. Because um, it links with Alexa, it's got all the air quality controls, HEPA filter, all singing, all dancing, hence it's 500 quid. Um, but I'll stick that review on my other channel later. Um, yeah, but beyond that, just plodding along. Going to be trying to get back to Spain um, when I can. I'm just waiting for. I think the next bit's going to be the COVID passport. Because at the moment they're talking about the PCR test. Yeah, but Boris makes money off those. Um, but the if that goes, I think that'll open up most of Europe. Um, because I think if you've been vaccinated, you should be able to travel. Otherwise, what's the point? I know people go, oh, well, you, you know, what if you got ill? I live with it. <laughs> you know, that, that, that's the point. You know, it's, it, there's been too much scaremongering around this COVID stuff and not enough positive stuff. Like, you know what? Instead of feeding you a load of crap, let's just, um, Say, if you have your two jabs, you can travel unrestricted. Okay, let's use some common sense. Stop lying, stop manipulating, <laughs> stop, stop trying to scare people. Just literally go, well, if you have your two jabs, you can save on the PCR test. Job sold. All right, guys, catch you later.